Okay, hey guys, I just wanted to kind of put together a quick video on something I've been working uh, with over the last couple of days, and it's really trying to use overlays within the VR environment. And uh, what I'm kind of learning is that there's a software out there called Open Network that will allow you to use overlays, whether it's high overlay or race labs or something like that, in an open XR environment. So I thought I would share that with you a little bit. Just 15 kind of minutes remaining, 15 like, minutes to go. Especially for those VR users that are out there um, trying to look for how do you get those overlays that the uh, triple screens or single screen monitor might give you, give you that extra information. So I'll show you a little bit around what you're seeing here uh, as we're out the track here in Laguna Seca in the MX-5. Um, normally I don't do any of these, but I thought we'd jump into a, a session where you could kind of see some of the information on the left. So left of my virtual display kind of shows cars that are racing right now, and it will show you their eye rating. Yeah, as well as their safety rating, right? And then that can be sort of important as it relates to when you're overtaking, passing people to kind of understand what's the best strategy so you stay out of trouble. And then uh, what you're seeing on your screen is a couple additional overlays that you would have as well via um, when you kind of think about uh, stuff for a viewer to watch, for example, related to uh, track maps or standings or whatever. Those are additional things you can have. Now, I don't see that in the virtual environment. Uh, I'm just using the, uh, the one relatives for me, uh, but, but if somebody wanted to watch the video and get some of those insights or whatnot, they could do the same thing as well. So I'll go out here on the track for a second and we'll just, you know, I haven't done any practice at all with the MX-5 in a long, long time. So I really am uh, gonna struggle with this and certainly on, at uh, uh, Laguna here or WeatherTech, I'm not, not necessarily gonna be able to be competitive or anything like that. But uh, you get the idea of what it would look like uh, uh, from my perspective, we've got uh, a car coming up here behind me, just like you would see in your relatives within iRacing. The difference is, is that with uh, the overlays, of course, I can see some additional information about uh, Cameron here in front of us. Uh, that is a 1.6 safety rating and 1,700 I rating, right? So, so as I come up on uh, trying to pass Cameron or, or approach him, if I were able to keep up with him, I would be able to kind of say, okay, judging based on those uh, attributes, you know, how much do I want to give him in terms of uh, space or room to kind of maneuver around me or whatnot as we as we kind of uh, as we as we go around people or as people come up on us, right? So it can be helpful to have those additional uh, insights and information. So that's kind of what you're seeing here. I just wanted to share with you how it all works a little bit. Now the the the. Uh, what I'm using here is a Pimax Crystal. It's running at um, native resolution. Uh, so we're using everything we can possibly get out of the, the headset itself, uh, which as any VR user knows, it's difficult, even with the fastest CPU and GPU today, to even run everything at a full 90 frames per second. So part of my test on this as well was to be able to kind of say, okay, how much more pressure does it put on the uh, the GPU and CPU by having overlays running in the background and what I can tell you is it um, it's minimal it's minimal impact uh, from what I can tell on here uh, at all so having these things I think it's still doable and it provides a lot of great uh, again additional information that for those not in VR have been able to enjoy for a long long time uh, those in VR might you know struggle a little bit with trying to figure out how all that stuff works so if you have any questions on how I did this or anything like that don't hesitate uh, to reach out to me and let me know and I can walk you through kind of what my experience was and how it sort of works and uh, last but not least don't judge me on my uh, lap or so here on the MX-5 I've uh, uh, been a long time since I've been on this track and this car so obviously I have no idea what I'm doing with this particular car on this as well so again appreciate it let me know if you have any questions thanks everybody